All right, let me see. Ali says, uh, Mr. K, how many years you are using KTS in this form? I mean, exactly these rules that are in the KTS. Um, so I have been using my own strategy KTS for the last six years. For the last six years. So originally, I was, I was a scalper, so I didn't use the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, first of all. When I was scalping, I was basically using the moving averages, multiple moving averages, and also uh, scale 6, RSI, and Bollinger Band, I was using it too, and scalping. I was looking at more than 30 pairs or 40 pairs on my watch list, including exotics and uh, take trace all day, every day. But then um, I set to lose, and then I started to apply Ichimoku. But obviously, when I first started to apply Ichimoku, um, I didn't have this, this kind of uh, you know, uh, trading rules and strategies. So after a few years, I think it was like uh, one year after this form uh, became a bit concrete. Like in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo plus multiple time frames analysis plus um, um, plus entries in the five minute, five or the 15 minute time frame. So I have been using this form of KTS for the last six years. And then within the six years, I have been revising, uh, minor changing the, the strategies. For example, I used to use Ichimoku, the part of Ichimoku uh, strategies to to take them as a entry confirmation, like a Kumo breakout or Chikou Span breakout or Tenkan Kijun Sen Gold Cross, Dead Cross, I used to use these also as a part of the confirmations on the M5, but uh, now I don't because these are a bit lagging and I took it out. And then recently I have revised the exit timing. Um, now I my exits are a bit earlier and more concrete than last year. So I advise that. And also the entries also. Entries, definition of the entries, I also revised it over years. So uh, yeah, I do minor change on my strategies. But uh, yeah, in terms of the form itself, uh, it's been about six years so far. Whenever I revise, I never change big. I never change the whole thing. I minor change. With this form, I minor change and um, try to be adjustable to changing markets. Because markets are not all, all the same, right? It's always a bit, a bit different every year. The forms may be different when the world outbreak or COVID outbreak, the patterns may be changed. So I minor change and revise my strategies by looking at by looking back my own trace for example i pick up the losing trace and see the losing patterns and try to find the area to improve uh, to avoid or to have less less drawdowns uh, on my previous losses so i run the tester i run the forex tester and uh, exactly trade how i took the trade and find the area to improve my exit timings um, and also entry timings too so one thing for sure is that I won't be I won't be using exactly this KTS forever uh, again because the markets are not the same every uh, forever so I have to change I have to be adapted to these changing market over time but uh, this form itself multiple time frames and using Ichimoku, this part will remain the same. So that's my view, my comment for this, uh, yeah, the rules and also how many years I have been using my own strategy. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader, that is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results 
whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in the long run. So remember to focus on your trade's results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and mata ne!